stuff. Okay, thank you, Leanne. Uh, thank you, Beethoven. Um, <laughs> next up is, uh, is Steve, and he's um, responsible for the Klitschko poster that's over there. And also, he also has the Red, uh, Red Seedings book, which I think he's going to be reading a little bit from. Indeed. So, okay. Thank you, Tom. Me and Tom talked for about two minutes about the reading order, and I said that I want to follow Mike or Steve because they made me look bad. <laughs> but I've never seen Leanne, and obviously Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly put me on someone who's very, very, very good. So that's unfortunate for me. But um, I will steal the making the audience hope in the future. That's okay. So I'm just going to read two things, some from the recipes book I did with the Red Seedlings, celebrate them as we are this evening, but also something connected to Zimzavar. I was invited to write some poems for the Poetry Project that you see on the wall that Jo Langton did in Manchester, where she did different types of tea for different tea bags, and I got strong tea, which made me feel good about myself, <laughs> my fragile masculine ego. So I'm just going to read the meditations on strong tea, which was in my last book. And it's dedicated to Val and Tom Rayworth, and it was written uh, basically over a dinner with them and the weird things that they said. My tea is admirably complex. Will it run the risk of being misunderstood? Sarcastic Chinese asking, why milk? Because of breasts and because others just hang there otherwise. The irony being on a journey to Edinburgh to visit Nicky Melville, I don't actually like hot drinks. You are the shining star of Bear Island, where all the trees have been stripped away to make room for the plantation's wives. Hello chicken, come visit. I will give you corn and stroke your head. Your feathers will be my handle, your skull will be my cup. Oh man, I have Mark next to me. He stinks and has Asperger's. I could really do with a cup of strong tea. My pleasure is derived from taste and clarity of expression. My beverage is a Nobel Prize in a world where dinner is an argument about demolition man. I am happy because I have you in my life. India is happening to England in Kenya, and the Olympics are a bid for black granules like Icelandic beaches. Jolly ranchers swinging from a tree branch. A poison tree frog abuses a golden gibbon. There are dragons up there, he says, from the jungle floor. And come drink my blood, it's ever so tasty. I think that Chinese river dolphin is a great name for tea. I just want to dance with somebody, with somebody who loves me. Have you heard from Ghost? Forgive her, for she knows not what she does. Fluffy bubble flying with a green parachute turns out to be a cancer tumour predicted in the scalectrics. I am the zoo. The Venice is a tea canal in sewage. The swan is chased by the silver gorilla. Scotch in the white. There are babies in the way. The king isn't in his castles and dweebs have taken over. Hell is real. I'm a brew of the moon star. Time is slowing. Just 30 seconds are enough to break you here. There is one town called Cambridge but two parties called communities, I mean communist. Red Val runs relocation at the town hall, while past the tea, Comrade Darling holds a crop and promises Valhalla he is coming. Tea rots the gut. If it is you who happens to drink it, while coffee fights cancer, which is funny because it is black like Granada, the dancing bear teaches hibernation. How useful on such a long journey. It's okay to spend your life working in Exeter, Odeon or Littlewood's tea rooms, because when you're dead, there is nothing which is like a green tea with lots of peace. I bring you seaweed, emotional.
and yet you just want tea. This will not work out. Migrant laborers died for this day. I am a cup, a hand, a liquid, the first in order, the last to run. My wire-lined servant's suit, I am a butler to fools. I do hope we end up in a war with China, because I love killing peasants. Gregor Mendel is tending to his biscuit garden in the Tyrol. How stupid of me to not have thought of that. The hereditary of strong tea is digital, while the tastiest biscuit is a fascist biscuit. But do we really need biscuits? Like names in novels that are only initials, SJ is conciliatory around the poetry table, but rest assured he is hungry to hurt you. Doubters will doubt, that not even heat but calm to just look down, while it is okay in the Czech Republic in a French maid's uniform, like a frog on the forest floor, seeking coal for its lamp, we'll find a fire to heat this tea while haters hate themselves tiny, skin-coloured breasts in freedom are contrary to the biting horse filled with hate. Cool, and I'll just read a few recipes, which are very mercifully short. And it's just me messing with the recipe form, so each page looks like a recipe. But they really don't have much to do with recipes. A recipe for natto. Mythical lion with ball, hawk and aubergine, bat and lucky fungus, long arms and long legs with fried octopus. A recipe for French toast. Madness is a sign of weakness, the Virgin Mary's favorite bucket. Having done it on yourself, mate, the power shop. Is the sandstone really a fish? When it comes down to sport, what kind of box do you want? A recipe for pho. A pail of boiling water, a cup of fairy liquid, a fully healed rotator cuff injury, a face full of homemade burning phosphorus for our Vietnamese neighbor. A recipe for beef tomato souffle. A potion, a cocktail, a portion, defecant, micturant, expellent, vomit, shit, piss and blood, soupy vengeance, a face mask for God Mortensen, and of course, an AIDS test. <laughs> Makes me laugh. A recipe for sautéed artichoke hearts, a two-watt light bulb, a nonce anus, a gobba of saliva, a bowel shredding posthumous punishment. I remember how that kitty felt. Can't <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, thank you very much.